comic fans. Just got home from work. Turned on the TV. And you know what I found out while watching the debate? Everything is racist. But I did find out one thing isn't. That would be the book 100 Greatest Moments Highlighted from the History of the World's Greatest Supervillains by Robert Greenberger. This is one, I don't know if it's the first, but it's one book in a series of books written highlighting different events in the history of DC. It is DC that tells about different uh, supervillains and what they've done. It, go, it covers people like Lex Luger, Solomon Grundy, uh, Catwoman, Tigress, or Tiger, or whatever her name is, Harlequin, yeah. Sinestro. And what it does, the, you know, the Joker. Okay, so let me just show you something here, right? You have, okay, Doomsday, right? It'll list Doomsday, right? Give a little bit of text on that. And then they will do a couple of different uh, panels from the events they're talking about. Sometimes they cover two or three different events quickly, and they'll do a page or two from each event to give you the visual of what they're talking about. Now, they don't cover everybody. They leave out some of the greats like Kite Man, Condiment Man, you know, people like those. Those, those are the greats, and they've left those out, which, you know, Mr. Uh, Greenberger should be ashamed of, you know, leaving out Condiment Man. How can you leave out Condiment Man? But he did cover, you know, some of the other people who aren't as big, like Lex, Lex, Lex Luthor and, you know, Catwoman and Joker and people like that. Uh, but it is just a really well done book. And rather, rather informative and, you know, especially for people who haven't, who are new to comics or don't know the complete history of everything in there. Uh, you know, it goes from you know, Bane to Batman Who Laughs. That's how recent some of these things are. All the way back to Starro and, you know, even some of the other people like Shazam and going back into his, you know, pre-DC roots. Um, yeah, this is a... Uh, this is a really well done, well researched book, giving credit where credit is due to stuff. And uh, I'm telling you, if you are into this type of stuff, you want to know history of things, pick it up. I managed to get this for ten dollars at Barnes and Noble, uh, which is a lot less than I'm sure it would have been. Uh, but I'm done with this one, and I'm probably going to move on to... I have two other books. I have the Justice League, and I have the Batman one. I don't know which one I'm going to get after this, or read after this. But if you look at them, it's got the book. It's got this. Then you... Uh, it's got the you know cover. Hardback. Same, uh, same cover. And it says on the back, right here, it says, all they want to do is rule the world. <laughs> Which Vermont has that song, uh, come to mind, everybody wants to rule the world. If you're old like me, you, you know that song, the original. Whether they hail from, a, from another land, some distant galaxy, or another dimension, the most cunning and deadly beings find Earth an irresistible target. Then there are the twisted, demented, and tortured threats 
that hide in Gotham shadow or lurk in hidden metropolis laboratories. When any assortment of these megalomaniacal villains band together, the world's greatest superheroes are tested with the fate of the world at stake. Over 80 years, DC Comics' cadre of crooks, criminals, and masterminds have become memorable icons escaping from the printed page to radio, television, and films. 100 of the greatest threats to mankind are represented in this collection, celebrating the never-ending battle between good and evil. So yes, if this interests you, get the book, because damn, it was awesome, and I enjoyed the hell out of it. And... Uh, I'll be moving on to the next one. I give this a 4.5 out of 5 just for informational purposes. And uh, uh, enjoy your comics. Talk to you later.